I found this typewriter next to the courtyard dumpster, an old Underwood 5 with original carriage return. Oh. Took her home, polished her up, bought a brand new ribbon off of electronicbay.com. Okay, somebody's got to do something. I'm getting a cluster headache. Oh, whoa, whoa. he's leaving. Let's go. I'm going to throw it away. No, I'm not. It weighs a billion tons. Oh, what is he typing anyway? If you sons of bitches try to remove this typewriter, I'll kill you. I'm gonna type every word I know. Rectangle. America. Megaphone. Monday. Butthole. Good morning, Ron. Good morning. I know how much you enjoy paperwork, but don't hover. Nice bench, is that new? No, that's been there since the 90s. What are you doing for your birthday on Friday? Nothing. I never d Ha ha! Oh, God. Birthday, birthday, birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, and I know when it is. Ron refuses to tell anyone when his birthday is. He's even had it redacted on all government documents. Three years of investigations, phone calls, Freedom of Information Act requests, and still I had nothing. Until a well-placed bribe to a gentleman at Baskin Robbins revealed. Ron's birthday is on Friday. Damn it, I was so careful. Ah, you blew it. All for a free scoop of rum raisin. Was it worth it, Ron? Was it? I command you to do nothing. I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm gonna do something, and it's gonna be really big. I have a lot of years to make up for. I don't like loud noises and people making a fuss. And I especially don't like people celebrating because they know a piece of private information about me. Plus, the whole thing is a scam. Birthdays were invented by Hallmark to sell cards. Now, after we are given the certificate, who do you think should speak first? I think it should be me and then you. But if you want, it could be you and then me. Or it could go me, you, me. What do you think? How about just you? Thank you, Ron, yes. Tomorrow, the Parks and Rec Department is receiving a commendation at the Indiana State House for bringing the Harvest Festival back. And although it's purely ceremonial, it's a huge deal for me to go to the State House. I couldn't care less about the commendation, but Indianapolis is home to Charles Mulligan's Steakhouse, the best damn steakhouse in the damn state. I have taken a picture of every steak I've ever eaten there. June 2004, Porterhouse, medium rare, Bernays sauce. January 2000, they call this one the Enforcer. February 96, the steak, ribeye. The whiskey, Lagavulin 16. And the lady next to me, a bitch. Specifically, my ex-wife, Tammy. Okay, this is, this is the first time I ever went there. <laughs> Look at me, just a kid. Okay, Ron, enough's enough. Let's talk plans for Diane's baby shower. Dear God, woman. Three main activities, baby bingo, baby food tasting, and my personal favorite, baby onesie decorating station. I'm gonna make mine look like an astronaut. What are you doing up there in space, baby? Oh, so cute. Okay, I have some gift ideas. I was looking at a very adorable stroller. We already have a stroller. Oh, shoot, really? I'm gonna have to think of something else. <gasps> oh my God, whose baby is that? That would be mine. Guys, get in here! Ron has a baby! Oh, Ron, cool baby. Thank you, Andrew. Everyone, I'd like to introduce you to my son, John, middle name redacted, Swanson. John was born some time ago, weighing multiple pounds and several ounces. Much like his father, he is a fan of silence. Please keep your voices down. How am I supposed to keep my voice down when you had your baby? And you didn't tell me that you had your baby! Why would you need to know something like that? Why would I? Oh, my God. I have not even sent Diane a gift. She's just walking around, wondering why I haven't sent her a gift yet. Should we do something? Just let her tire herself out. If you need anything from us, Ron, please just let us know. Actually, there is something. Could one of you please stop by the pet store and pick up some fish food for me? When did you get a fish? <laughs> Hi there. What's going on here? Puppy! Oh, puppy is here. Can we keep him? My neighbor's dog had a litter. They're looking for people to adopt. I love him. I wish he had tiny puppy shoes. I would totally shine his little shoes for free. Aww. I do say the cutest stuff. Look, I love a good dog as much as the next guy, but this building doesn't allow animals. Andy, take him outside. What, and shoot him? No, just keep him outside. Oh, come on, Ron. I'm just a little puppy. I ain't done nothing wrong. I'm just a puppy. Hmm. I like your mustache. I wish I could have one. 
but I can't. Because I'm just a little puppy. Mm. 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 Okay, take him out and shoot him. <laughs> I gotta say, this report is quite impressive, Miss No. Oh, well, thank you very much, Mr. City Manager. And I have to say that the way that you're rocking those slacks is quite impressive as well. Well, thank you. <clears throat> Can we hurry this up, please? What? There's nothing wrong with acknowledging the fantastic work of one of your employees, especially if she's adorable. I am back at the Parks Department, and Ben is city manager, but we're married, so it's kosher and awesome. We live together. And work together. And we are so in, in sync. sync. that we finish each other's... Sentences! <sighs> we rehearsed that at home. Naked in bed. What? Please stamp the form. I just want to admire it one more time. Again, fantastic work. In fact, such good work. I think I'm in love with you. Oh my God, that's great news because I'm in love with you too. What? what? Stamp the form. Okay, let's not let Ron feel left out. We love you too, Ron. Stamp the damn form. Group hug. Oh, I'm down for a group hug. Little GH. Bring it in. Come on. Wow. <laughs> I think our love made him angry. Oh, I think he broke my wrist, I'm not kidding. Really? Okay, guys, the battle royale is coming up. Every department in one room arguing for more money. Budgetary Thunderdome. So uh, make lists of why other departments suck, and I'm gonna go get the secret weapon. Our secret weapon in this budgetary battle? Ron. Every time another department asks for more money, he just stares them down until they back off and or wet themselves. Hey, who's ready to get? What are you doing? Tammy One showed up. I'm being audited by the IRS. No! Your worst nightmare! You know what? Screw this. First of all, income tax is illegal. Second, Tammy is a psychological mastermind. This is just another way for her to put her hand up my keister and control me like a puppet. I'd rather be locked up. Ron, this is a federal tax audit. You could go to jail. Jail, Ron. Ron, jail. Jail, Ron. Jail. You could go to jail. 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 Are you broken? Andy, April! What's up, boss? Stop yelling and being annoying. Grab your calculators, settle in. Operation Rescue Ron is starting. Don't worry, I will think of a better name for it by tomorrow. Here you go. Calculator. So, who broke it? I'm not mad, I just want to know. I did. I broke no, it. No, no you didn't. Tom? Don't look at me. Look at Ben. What? I didn't break it. Huh, that's weird. How'd you even know it was broken? Because it's sitting right in front of us, and it's broken. Suspicious. No, it's not. If, if it matters, probably not, but April was the last one to use it. Liar, I don't even drink that crap. Oh, really? Then what were you doing by the coffee cart earlier? I used the wooden stars to push back my cuticles. Everyone knows that, okay. Jerry. Okay, let's not fight. I broke it. Let me pay for it, Ron. No. Who broke it? Ron, Don has been awfully quiet. Really? Oh, yeah, really. Oh, now, my God. Say Don, I, I, broke it. It. I broke it. It burned my hand, so I punched it. I predict 10 minutes from now, they'll be at each other's throats with war paint on their faces and a pig head on a stick. Good. It was getting a little chummy around here. Leslie, potential problem? The previous owner of lot 48 Norquist Properties is claiming the government screwed them by illegally seizing the land. Well, I know about this issue. I called the city attorney like 50 times. He didn't call me back. Oh, do you need a lawyer? Because my friend Justin's a lawyer. I'm sure he could help. Oh, that'd be terrific. Yeah, I'll call him. Justin's the greatest guy ever. <laughs> the greatest guy ever? But does he dress this well? Brooks Brothers. Bought it right off the mannequin. Ron Swanson? That's me. My name is George McFadden. I wanted to talk to you about the amount of snow in the parks. I've been getting a lot of visitors recently, uh, thanks to a stupid, worthless new push to make government officials more accessible to the public. There is a disturbing lack of benches in Ramsey Park. I want to sit more. And another thing I like is the layout of the hiking trails. I made this in one of your pottery classes. It's terrible. This is my hell. Who are the suits? They want me to run for office. Oh my god. 
God, Leslie, yay! I know, right? Yay! 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 yay. yay. Wait, what does that mean about you and Ben? I don't know. I think it's gonna be really bad. Uh oh. Do you want to go back to saying yay? Yes, please. Yay! Yay! yay. yay. No, follow me. Just one second. Now. Run! Hey! Whoa! 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 Run! 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 run. What's going on? My ex-wife Tammy is back. Yeah, I saw her in the courtyard. No, my other ex-wife Tammy. <gasps> Tammy won. I have accrued 228 personal days. Starting right now, I'm using all of them. <gasps> While I'm gone, you're in charge. Ah! Also, I keep a sizable supply of ground chuck in my desk. Remove it or it will begin to smell. Godspeed. Hey. Am I interrupting something important? Impossible. I work for the government. I just picked up the girls. Thought we'd stop by. Oh, are the girls? <laughs> yes, they are. Hello, girls. <laughs> Diane and I have been seeing a lot of each other recently. She is a sharp, confident, strong woman. Her children are loud. <laughs> Kung Fu! This is fun. Easy, girls. We'll be careful, Miss Lewis. Ah. I'm sorry. I got it. We just wanted to invite you to come trick-or-treating tonight. I think I'm a little old. Can we go around, please? Please. Oh, you can come, sure. But we have to go by seven or else the good candy will be gone. Sounds perfect. <laughs> come on, girls. Ah. Ah, see you later, ah, What the hell just happened? April! Listen, I was trying to buy this handcrafted mahogany wood model of a B-25 Mitchell Panchito aircraft. Aw, for me? Don't sass me. And I went to this website and this ad popped up that said, Hey, Ron Swanson, check out this great offer. What's your question? My question is, what the hell? Like, how do they know who you are? Yeah. Okay, um, there are these things called cookies where like, if you go to a site and buy something, it'll remember you and then create ads for other stuff you might want to buy. So it learns information about me? Seems like an invasion of privacy. Dude, if you think that's bad, go to Google Earth and type in your address. Gentlemen, Wilderness Weekend is upon us. There will be no video games. There will be no internet pads. This weekend, you have two parents, me and Mother Nature. And I am Mother Nature's brother, Brother Nature. But you can call me Andy or Brother Nature. Your call. Thank you, Andy. Brother Nature. For the last three years, I have served as troop leader of the Pawnee Rangers. This is our handbook. I wrote the whole thing myself. Okay, it's time to give out the badges. Um, let's see, Emily, you get the badge for most community service. Yay. To Casey, the best penguin blog badge. Yay. To Abigail, flyest hairstyle. Yay. And Anne gets the badge for second flyest hairstyle. Oh, Yay. I wasn't competing for that. I'll say. Five years ago, a plucky fifth grader wanted to join the Pawnee Rangers. But their executive council said what obnoxious jerks always say, no. This is males only. Go start your own club. She couldn't. So I did. We're called the Pawnee Goddesses, and we're freaking awesome. Hey, Ron, whose club do you think is better, yours or mine? The answer is mine. Say mine is better. It's not a competition. Oh, but it is. Your club made it a competition when they kept girls out. Oh, my stars, I'm just a little lady. My fragile constitution cannot handle the fearsome outdoors. I have no problem with strong women, Leslie. Who's Leslie? My name is Annabelle Vandergraff, and y'all, I just fall to pieces when the sun shines on my head. However, the Pawnee Rangers were founded because some boys want to go out into nature and learn traditional survival skills without being distracted by girls. Well, my awesome goddesses don't want to be distracted by losers. Say my club is better, Ron. Say it. My club is better. Say it. Come on, say it's better. Say it. Say it's better. Say my club is better. Say it. Give it up. Whose club is better? Mine. Say it. You know it. 
say it. On principle, I never say anything that another person is obviously trying to get me to say. My first wedding ceremony took two hours because after the priest said, repeat after me, I fell silent. So while they repaint the lines in the parking lot, we're asking everyone to do street parking. I'm not street parking my Mercedes. Well, everyone is. I'm doing it. Because nobody wants to steal a Saturn. All right, uh, moving on to recycling. Um, you okay, Ron? Just a little tooth pain. I'm fine. Continue. Okay, each department will be getting blue bins. Uh, Do you need to go to the dentist, Ron? I don't like dentists. Just a second. Hey! No, no. No, 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 but it's always a good idea to demonstrate to your coworkers that you are capable of withstanding a tremendous amount of pain. Plus, it's always fun to see Tom faint. <laughs> Ron? Jack Cooper from the controller's office. Got a, got a second? Uh, sure, what can I do you for? Frankly, this is a little awkward. We received this letter from a collection agency about an outstanding debt from the Pawnee Public Library. It appears you have an overdue book. Or do I? It's not the size of the boat embracing life with a micro penis. Tammy. My ex-wife Tammy likes to check in every so often and make sure I'm doing okay. And if I am, she tries to f everything up. Okay, I pre-dialed 911, so all you have to do is press send. You're worrying over nothing. If she binds her hands and you can't reach your phone, then just try to chew yourself free. <gasps> Whale tail. Whale tail. She's flashing a whale tail. Abort, abort, abort. Hello, Tammy. Oh, hello, Ron. I didn't see you come in. I was just checking myself for scoliosis. And? Straight as an arrow. Just like somebody else I know. Jerky? Call off the dogs. You and I both know that in my entire adult life, I have never checked a book out of the library. Oh, my god, she's amazing. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Mm. I admit there was a time when that sort of behavior would have driven me wild. But I am in a healthy relationship now, Tammy. A relationship? With whom? A lovely, intelligent, self-possessed pediatric surgeon named Wendy. Sounds like a real whore. Clear the late charges and cut the crap. Good day. Good day, Leslie. Good... Good day. Merry congratulations! What? Half Merry Christmas, half congratulations. Because I just received some news. You, Ron Swanson, have been nominated for an award from the Indiana Fine Woodworking Association. How did you hear about that? I've had a Ron Swanson Google alert for seven years, and it finally paid off. Recently, I made a chair. When I was finished, I thought it was a good chair. I submitted it to the Indiana Fine Woodworking Association, who felt it merited consideration for an award. It's been a real whirlwind. I have to confess, I'm very honored by this nomination. Right? This might be the first time I've ever wanted to attend an event. Oh my god, I love events! I can't wait to go tonight. Why are you going? As your self-appointed emotional guardian, it is my duty to love and support you. Plus, you know, this is a big deal. You shouldn't be there alone. That's correct. I'm bringing Diane. Things are going very well with Even us. Even better, I am very excited to meet Diane. You're not taking no for an answer, are you? Oh, I forgot to sing you my Merry Congratulations Christmas Carol. Jingle bells, jingle yay, jingle good for you! Get out. Yep. Looking for Ronald Ulysses Swanson? He stepped out. Can I take a message? Sure. Tell him he just won a free dinner from St. Elmo's Steakhouse. <laughs> I'm Ron Swanson! You've been served. Have a nice day. I don't like you, but I respect the effort. Oh, man, subpoena? Which ex-wife is it? Tammy one or Tammy two? Neither. Apparently, Councilman Jeremy Jam is not pleased that I punched him in the face on the night of Leslie's wedding. He is suing me. $13,000 for orthodontic surgery, $6,000 for enamel repair, and $46 million for psychological damages. Oh, yeah, that seems about accurate. That guy is the worst. We should sue Jam's parents for spawning a human turd burger. Ron, hey, let me be your lawyer. I'll object to everything anyone says. Trial will go on forever. You don't have to pay. Problem solved. 
That's a kind offer, Andrew, but I won't be hiring an attorney. I'll represent myself, as I do in all legal matters and livestock auctions. I wish we had $46 million. You could buy my parents' house and evict them. I'm surprised he's taking it this well. April, could you call maintenance, please? Okay, everybody, the Harvest Festival is tomorrow, and I am so proud of all of you. You've worked so hard, you're amazing. So I have a surprise, and it is possibly the best thing to potentially ever happen to anyone, anywhere in the history of the universe. Ladies and gentlemen, the world famous Lil Sebastian. What? Yes! No. Oh my god! Hey. Hey. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought I'd get to meet him. Truly, yeah. Well done, Leslie. Well done! <laughs> Lil Sebastian made his debut at the last Harvest Festival in 1987, and he was an instant phenomenon. For the next few years, Sebastian was the number one boy's name in Pawnee, and the number three girl's name. So what am I missing? What's the deal with this pony? He's not a pony, Ben. He's a mini horse. There's a big difference. Well, then why is he so famous? Does he do something? What does he do? Son, this horse has an honorary degree from Notre Dame. We all need to be very careful, okay? Remember, this little guy's 25 now, and he has cataracts in both eyes. He has severe arthritis. Jerry's going to look after him. Yes, I am. We are both on the same diabetes medication. Are you my glue control buddy? <laughs> are you? Huh? <laughs> Isn't it amazing? <laughs> yeah, I, I just got to be honest. I don't know what the big deal is. Get out. I have some very important news about our favorite mini horse, Lil Sebastian. Lil Sebastian! He died last night. No! But we can take comfort in the fact that he's in heaven now, doing the two things he loves doing the most, eating carrots and urinating freely. When I walked in this morning and saw the flag was at half-mast, I thought, all right, another bureaucrat ate it. But then I found out it was Lil Sebastian. Half-mast is too high. Show some damned respect. Because of all he's done for the town, we are gonna be holding a small memorial service for him. But for now, I think we should bow our heads in a moment of silence. <clears throat> I got it, thank you. Hello, I am Leslie Nope, and I am here to interview for the deputy parks director job. Leslie, this is ridiculous. It's your job. Take it. Well, I should have to interview, just like everyone else. Mm. Now, if you'll see on my resume, I held the position of deputy director of parks and recreation for almost 10 years. I know, I was your boss. I also walked you down the aisle at your wedding. Take the job and leave me alone. Come on, Ron, just interview me. No special treatment. Okay, fine. What do you believe should be the ultimate goal of this department? The ancient Greek version of the park was the Agora, a gathering place where people from all walks of life. What are you writing? Is it good? What do you think is the best use of our yearly budget? It's right there in the name, maintaining our beautiful parks and providing healthy outdoor recreation. I'm sorry, Miss Nope. The correct answer is give it all back to the taxpayers. Mm -mm. It seems you and I have fundamentally different philosophies. Frankly, it's a miracle we ever worked together without killing each other. Good day. Ha ha. Okay, no more goofing around. Just tell me I have the job. I have a lot of other people to meet with. I'll be in touch. Ron, come on. It's me. Give me special treatment. No, no. Sorry, Ron. Doors are locked. We've taken your key cards and your phones, and the automatic timer won't go off until tomorrow at 8 a.m. You're trapped in there. We told security not to disturb you under any circumstances. And the phones and the internet, oh, they've been disconnected. And I left a rusty hacksaw on the table, so the first person who hacks their face off gets released. <laughs> That's not what? Is that true? Guys, this is insane, okay? Let us out! Oh my god, babe! Game of Thrones is on tonight! It's the series finale! Khaleesi is marrying Jack Sparrow! Oh god, that show has really gone off the rails. Look, it makes sense if you've read the books. Look, our baby monitor is on the table. If you guys can talk this out and settle your differences like grown-ups, Turn it on, and I will come to get you from my office. Otherwise, we will see you at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. I am going to break out of here. Then I am going to snap you in half. Hey, this is not his fault, Swanson. Be a man and get your house in order. You too, Nope. Good luck, you guys. I really hope you can work out your differences. Terry, look at me. 
Is this what you want to do? Think very carefully, son. There you go. That's right, buddy. Come on. For once in your life, do something right. Stop it, Terry. Both of you, come on. Damn, Damn it, it, Terry! Terry! Wait, I forgot. Who the hell is pregnant? What? I found a pregnancy test at your cabin and I checked with all the girls over there. It wasn't any of them. Hello, darling. What a surprise. Hey, can we talk maybe in private? <gasps> you and me? I believe she's referring to me, son. Please excuse us. <clears throat> so, I uh, am pregnant. I see. I don't understand how. We were so careful. I warned you about this. Standard birth control methods aren't usually effective against a Swanson. I got about a million thoughts running around my head, but I really just want to know what you're thinking. OK, here's what I'm thinking. I was going to wait until our anniversary, take you somewhere romantic, perhaps in a canoe, most likely in a canoe. I actually built a canoe for that purpose. But given the news, and given my significant feelings for you, now seems as good a time as any. Ron Swanson. Diane Lewis. Will you marry me? Yes. On one condition. Anything, my love. Ask me for anything in the world and I'll give it to you. Except a destination wedding. Just the opposite. We'd both be married before. I don't want anything big or elaborate. In fact, the smaller, the better. I assume you can deal with that. Are you kidding? As far as I'm concerned, we could go up to the fourth floor right now. Well, hello there. Hey, Leslie, what's with the getup? We're coming back from a cleaning up a Pawnee River. There's nothing I love more than squeegeeing slime off a highway underpass. Where are you guys going? The fourth floor, getting married. Okie dokie, well, catch you later. What? What? Oh, what? What tattoos? What the? Are you dead? You look like you're in rictus. I just, I'm having so many thoughts and feelings that I'm paralyzed right now. Would you ladies like to come? Can I be the best man? Why not? Let's go. Ron is getting married, and I love him, and I care about him, and this is the greatest day ever, and I, I do not have time to talk about this. Wait! If, if you would just slow down a little, then I could arrange balloons or a uh, flower cake or a bouncy castle or something. Ah, Ethel Beavers, we would like a marriage license, please and thank you. What's the date of the wedding? Today. It's a bit unusual, but we Don't both... care. Leslie Nope, would you please be my matron of honor? Diane, you have no idea what that means to me. She gets it. Let's go. Well, this is like a waking nightmare. Happiness. Um, I need to get some flowers. Uh, why don't you hold this colorful bouquet of highlighters? Rice. I need to find some rice. I need to throw some rice. Why is there no rice in this municipal government building? I found a justice guy. These are the marrying people. This is Carl. Hello, Carl. My fiance and I would like to get married right now, right here. Haven't I done a quickie wedding for you before? It's certainly possible, but this one's going to stick. I need your full names for the license. Ronald Ulysses Swanson. Diane Tammy Lewis. Tammy? Your middle Just name Just kidding, it's Elizabeth. Let's go, Carl. Hey, hey, let's pump the brakes, Carl, OK? Belay that order, Carl. Shortest possible ceremony. I'm tired of not being married to this woman. Do you, Ron Swanson, Who take Diane gonna start? to be your wife? Who is I having... certainly do. Who am I and do you, Diane, yes. take Yes, I do. Her? She said yes. OK. <sighs> Wait. The power vested in me? Before you, Carl, just one second. I would just like to give a short speech, if I may. You have 10 seconds. <sighs> At first glance, it may seem as though Ron Swanson and I have nothing in common. But Webster's Dictionary defines friend. Time. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. I could tell where you were going with that, and it was going to be beautiful. I now pronounce Hi. you man and wife. Hooray! Yay! Great job, everyone. <laughs> the reception will be held in each of our individual houses alone. Pretend this is rice. That was beautiful. Leslie. What's up, Ron? I'm going to need you to go up to the Bureau of Motor Vehicles on the fourth floor. We got to talk ourselves out of this late registration fee for the park's van. Come on, I don't want to go to the fourth floor. That is the creepiest place on earth. The fourth floor is awful. The BMV, divorce filings, probation offices. Ugh. They put a popcorn machine up there just to brighten things up. 
but they used the wrong kind of oil and a bunch of people had to get their throats replaced. They'll only talk to you or me, and I can't go because I don't want to. Mm. Mm. Okay. Hey, boo, you're pretty. Uh, thank you, sir. Hey, girl. Hey, you on probation? I got clean urine. You need female, I got female. I'm good, thank you. Hey, you clean? Uh, I buy, too. Tom and Wendy? Popcorn! Ah! Hey, what the hell is this? I'm guessing it's my latest budget cut proposal based on your rage sweat. First of all, I am rage glowing. Second, you want to cut funding for the Pawnee Palms public putt-putt? What did the PPPPP ever do to you? Ron is very anti-government and he has that philosophy, but there are just certain things that you don't cut. Schools, police, mini-golf, merry-go-rounds, parades, gazebo repair, roads and bridges, whatever. Pretty gardens, hummingbird feeders. I believe in cutting useless government projects. I also believe in cutting useful projects, future projects, and past projects. The Hoover Dam is a travesty. You also believe in making furniture. Why don't you go solder a chair instead? Do you expect me to make a chair out of transistor chips and small wires? Look, the defunding of the mini golf course is on the agenda for the city council meeting tomorrow. I'm sure you'll argue against it with your trademark vicar. Oh, I will argue, and I'm gonna win. That putt-putt is gonna be around forever, and when I am done with it, it'll attract more visitors than the Hoover Dam. And it'll produce double the amount of electricity. How? I'll figure it out, it already has windmills, who cares? Ron! Hello, Andy. It's quiet in here. Where is everyone? The government is shut down. It's in every newspaper. How long is it going to last? Now, if we're lucky, this building will be empty for months. <sighs> wow. That is really bad timing. I just got this super sweet-ass rad crotch rocket. I've always wanted one of these, but due to, you know, never having a job, I couldn't afford it until now. Got a really good deal on my lease. Paying like 12% interest. It's like one of the highest you can get. Hey, so I've been trying like crazy to get a hold of April. If you see her, will you tell her I really need to talk to her? You got it. All right, thanks, Ron. Uh-oh! Nailed it. Ron, we're back. Bully. The bankrupt government of Pawnee has been shut down all summer, so it's been three months of no work, no meetings, no memos, no late nights, nothing. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Oh, rounding up the team. So exciting. I have goosebumps. Feel. And that's why they call me Prince Charming, because I always find the glass slipper for my Cinderella. These are way too tight. Well, the real Cinderella didn't have hippo feet. Tom, we're back. Jeremy, suck it! By the way, I've been giving away free sports for us as the girls at Hot Dog on a Stick. Look, we can dance all day, but it's time to step up. Are you buying 4,000 rubber nipples from me or not? D, you have a visitor. We back? We're back. All right! Jerry. Oh my gosh, look who's here, Leslie. The nightmare's over, Jerry. We're going back to work. You're not gonna need this anymore. I called shotgun, everybody heard me. Okay, open this one. Here, I'll help you. Whoa, documents! Yes! This is your original intern application, your original parking pass, this is your original photo ID. Did you get that out of my purse? It doesn't matter, and this is a copy of your very first paycheck. Who's that from? Me! It's from me! Happy birthday. Thank you, Leslie. Open mine. It is, it's nice. I mean, it can be a little savvy and sentimental to kind of frame things, but it's always nice to remember the beginning of something, you know, the start. And when you have ah! that, like... Oh, jeez. Ron. 
For God's sake. She's an adult now. She should know how to responsibly handle and discharge a weapon. That there is a Sig Sauer 22 caliber mosquito. Manufactured in Switzerland for their pussy police force, this two-toned lightweight model is perfect for a skinny little thing like you. Gee, thanks, Ron. I will hold on to this for you until we get you licensed up, and then I'll take you for some target practice. Goody. Yeah, I do feel a little guilty. I'm re-gifting. Okay, I don't want to overhype this, but presenting da, 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 the new City of Pawnee website, totally revamped. You can pay for parking tickets, you can apply for a business license, and the best part is we are putting up an online poll so people can pick the new town slogan. Hey, look, a panda! Whoa. Yeah, that's just some mascot thing the designer put up on the front page, but more importantly, you can now apply for a utility tax refund online. Wait, the panda's name is Peebo. Peebo. <laughs> Look, he can yeah. even play ping pong. What? Yes, oh, no, me first, me first. Ooh, I'm, that's it. Cool. Guys, Ben worked really hard on this, OK? Let's look at the online poll. It's going to be a cool way to choose our new town slogan. <gasps> The panda holds the paddle with his tail? I want to play! Congratulations, Ben. This is truly a fine panda game you made. Well done. What else does he do? I think if you click on the bamboo, he puts on a top hat. Ta -ta! What? I love you, Ben! Good morning. Woo! Swiss Family Robinson. That hat is dope. Thanks, Tom. You mind if I rock that bad Larry on my dome? Wear it on my head? Try it on the ladies? Be my guest. Hi, I'm Tom. I have a raccoon on my head. Uh, excuse me, my friend over here was digging through your trash, and I think we may have a lot in common. I'm Tom. Would you like to see a movie sometime? Are you a raccoon? Because you've been running around my hat all day, head all day? Girl, you're more precious than precious. Uh uh. Nice hat. Want a bone? That's you talking to me. No. How about, yes, I am a hunter, and it's you season. Whoa, that's great. I got to get back out there. You know what they say, animal on the head, manimal in the bed. Damn, girl, your hotness killed my raccoon. I have a raccoon head. I'm an interesting person. Hello. Any luck? No, nope. didn't work out as well as I thought it would. No, well, better luck next time. I tried, just didn't seem Wow, like... I love that hat. Well, thank you, ma'am. You're leaving tonight? I can't believe there's even a flight. Well, not to Indiana, but there's a 9 o'clock red-eye to Lisbon, and then I can catch the 4.30 a.m. back to Edinburgh, connect through Houston, head on up to Cincinnati, and then rent a car, drive around 90, and I'll be home two hours earlier than if I flew home as planned. Easy breezy. Leslie, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I do not think you should leave Europe right now. You flew all this way. Have some perspective. You have some perspective. I'm sorry. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm stressed. OK, I need to calm down. Let's go walk past Colin for his house again. Who is that? OK, here's the situation. Your parents went away on a week's vacation. They left the keys to the brand new Porsche. But they mine. Hmm. Well, of course not. I'll just take you for a little spin and maybe show it off to a couple of friends. I'll just cruise around the neighborhood. Well, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, of course I should. Pay attention, here's the thick of the plot. I pulled up to the corner at the end of my block. That's when I saw this beautiful girly girl walking. I picked up my car phone to perpetrate like I was talking. The sunroof was open, the music was high, and that girl's hand was steadily moving up my thigh. She had opened up three buttons on her shirt so far. I guess that's why I didn't notice that police car. I can't believe it. I made a mistake. My parents are the same, no matter time nor place. So to all you kids all across the land, no need to argue. Parents just don't understand. All right. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> just a little something I know. So what's up? Uh, someone is on fire in Ramsett Park. They need you to get down there right away. Oh, my God. <laughs>